Boom! What's going on, everyone? I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Steel, founder of Advantage Diecast, welcoming you to the warehouse on another episode of Toy Talk. Ron Kelsey started driving trucks way back in 1977. He purchased his first and only truck in August of 1984. The Peterbilt Model 359 became the only truck that he would ever need, and he's still driving it today. In 1990, Ron had it painted in an orange and yellow paint scheme, and it became known as the Sunrise Express. By the mid-90s, Sunrise Express received a major upgrade. Ron took out the 400 Big Cam Cummins engine and replaced it with an 800 100 horsepower 3406E Caterpillar diesel engine. 14 years later, and Ron had a shiny new paint coat applied, and the Ghost Flames joined the Sunrise Express paint scheme. As the years went by, Ron kept finding upgrades for his truck. In December of 2017, Ron wanted a longer wheelbase so he had the truck stretched out to 301 inches. In 2018, Ron boosted the transmission from a 6-speed with a 4-speed auxiliary to a 10-speed with a 4-speed auxiliary. As it rolls down the highway today, it has a 10x4 transmission, 336 Eaton rear ends, and the CAT 3406E from 1994, for its drivetrain. Ron has been customizing his ride for the past 35 years, and it's never gotten old. Now to talk about DCP by First Gears, Big Rigs Series 1, Ron Kelsey's Sunrise Express. As a side note though, this is not the first release of this truck. Back when it was still Diecast Promotions, a 379 was released in Sunrise Express colors, and here is a picture of it. They used a 379 because back then they didn't have a 359 tooling. And here we go, guys. This is the Peterbilt 359 with 53-foot flatbed and a load of pipe for Kelsey's Trucking, the Sunrise Express. This truck has been done before by DCP, only they did it the first time as a... 379. This time it's being done right as a 359. It's done in the Big Rig series, which is featuring real drivers and their show trucks. It comes with a little story on the back about the driver, and it has a certificate of authenticity signed by Adam Knight and the driver that comes with it. Now I'll show you the item number, and then we'll show you the back. This is item number 69-0700, and this was the first in this new series of big rigs see even on the box it says number one the back has very very colorful graphics there's a picture of uh, Ron Kelsey standing beside his truck there's a picture of the interior and then there's a little bit of story on this particular truck Now I've gone over most of what he's got in there but there it is if you want to read it it's all on the back of the box now I'll go on and open this guy up because you can't show it off and talk about everything in its box. And it comes in the, not the standard DCP box, it comes in the special packaging, Big Rigs packaging box. But it does have the mural in the back just like all the rest of them. And it comes in two-piece blisters which are taped together. But I've gone and cut that tape just to save some time. And I'll also show you the other thing it comes with, which is this certificate of authenticity. Isn't that pretty cool? There's Adam Knight's signature, and then there's Ron Kelsey, the owner of the truck. And a little information. And it was limited to 1,000 pieces produced and distributed worldwide. Pretty cool, eh? Now let's go on and open the truck. Boom. Just slip the lid off because it's already cut the tape. Normally it's taped, and then we'll get these pieces out. 
This is an all new pipe load. It was has never been done before. The first time it had a resin load and it didn't look good. So this time they actually made a very nice actual ABS pipe load. It's really cool. They also, to separate the load from the truck, they put that little piece of uh, wax type paper in there just so that the load doesn't rub on the trailer in shipment. We'll get the cab out here, set him down. And then, if you'll notice, it comes with some straps to strap your load down and there should be an extra set of mirrors in there. But I don't see them. I don't think this guy, nope, there is no extra set of mirrors. So you just get a couple of extra straps in that package. That's kind of a bummer. Hopefully you don't break any, but with the other 359s we can, that have been made, we can probably come up with some uh, extra mirrors if one gets broken. All right, now let's set the truck back. We'll set the trailer back a little bit, and then we'll look at the load here. I'll just pick up one bundle because they're all the same. Now, they're strapped together, as you can see. There's three different pieces. They're strapped together. They are hollow. See, you can see right clean through them. That's pretty cool. And these are hard ABS plastic pieces so that they're not like the resin that look kind of cheap and terrible and molded and goofy. These are a hard resin, and they're all banded together. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six bundles of pipe to sit on this thing. Which is a fitting load, because that's mainly what Ron Kelsey hauls is pipe. And there we go, and it would just sit on that flatbed. Now I'm going to pick up and do the flatbed next. This is the Wilson Road Brute 53-foot spread axle flatbed that DCP is made. This is one of their oldest trailer toolings, actually, is this Wilson Road Brute flatbed. It's a all die cast tooling, and it comes down on the side, and underneath it has the nice frame rails which go up through, and they body match painted the frame rails to match his orange color. You can see it's got the Wilson trailer cut out in the frame like the real ones. It's got these little pieces that help hold. The deck, it's got the Road Brute logo and other warning logos. It has working suspension on those axles. Mud flaps for both sets of axles. A small toolbox in front of the first axle and a large toolbox between the two rear axles. Also on this trailer, it's got more little warning signs, marker lights down the side, and the big DOT stripe running the whole length. There's little slots here where you can actually put those straps. Of course, they're not the greatest straps. Some I find it's better just to make your own straps to go with it. It rides on duels with a nice soft rubber tire and 10-hole chrome wheels. The mud flaps are chrome plated, as are the toolboxes. On the landing gear, it's your standard DCP landing gear that cranks down. There's a warning here. It has a crank on the handle. So this is a very nice trailer. Turning them around to the back. Hopefully it'll focus. There we go. You can see the Sunrise Express right there on the mud flaps on the rear mud flaps. It's also on the upper forward mud flaps. You see the chrome arms that hang it and then the chrome weights there. Pretty nice. There's also a DOT stripe on the bumper. You got your brake lights, three on each side, and your marker lights in the middle. Plus, it's got backup lights on there. Very nice work lights. Over to the passenger side, it's all exactly the same, except for there's no crank on the landing gear because it's on the driver's side. Now, some trucking companies do run cranks on the passenger side just to make sure the driver gets out and goes around and checks the truck. Go underneath, and you can see the orange frame. There's a date under there of 28419. That means this is the 284th day of 2019 was when this truck was made. You can see the landing gear, the kingpin that fits standard DCP, obviously. And then you got air brakes and suspension detail on each axle. And to get the spreads, they're individual pieces. Canister parts are plastic, but the frame itself is actually die cast. They did a nice job. 
they just screw those axles on. Very nice job on that. Around to the front on this trailer. And it's got a little warning lights or warning tampos here. And then that's about it. Up to the deck, aluminum deck. And then you can see the orange, which is the frame rails that go all the way up. And just a nice aluminum deck. And then you got your, they put a little black tampo on each of the uh, slots to make it look like on the outside you've got your uh, tie down rails. Very nice. Now let's set this trailer aside and to do that I'm going to put the landing gear down. Just like all the other DCP landing gears all you got to do is take the and screw it down with the uh, couple of twists of, the, of it and there you go. Because they put a real nice uh, screw on there it makes it look like a real nice one. And then I'll set this plastic pipe up on there and then we'll get over to the truck. Now, as I said, they've done this truck before at DCP, but they didn't do as nice a job the first time. They didn't have the actual gradients. It was close, but not quite. So the orange fading up to the uh, black, or the orange fading up to the yellow just didn't quite do it the same as this. This is just amazing. You can see the Sunrise Express, his little marker lights on the sleeper. This looks like a 60-inch flat top. The door handle is tampoed, silver, and then their vent windows there. It says Kelsey's trucking, and he's out of Arizona. You can also see little marker lights down on that piece, and then some mark marker lights underneath the door. It's got your air cleaner on both sides, and it's got mirrors. And the 359 mirrors don't have the extra brackets. This truck also runs on turned out... Uh, straight stacks which look really nice as chromed steps battery boxes air tanks fuel tank the ladder mud flaps and wheels are all chrome also has 10 hole wheels and soft rubber tires on each the quarter fenders also show off the same gradient orange fading up to yellow as does the rear deck plate pretty nice there's also a little tampo of a truck up on the front of the hood plus you can see the Peterbilt logo right there then you can see it's got a turn signal on the fender just like the 359's had looking up at the front you can see the large chrome drop bumper the single round headlights the Peterbilt logo right on top of the grill very nice grill detail the windows are hard plastic the windshield wipers are tampoed onto the plastic and then there's a little black ring that goes around all of them and they got that big nice v to make it look like a really nice 359 there's a body matched yellow visor there and two air horns on the top and you can see how those stacks turned out and then they're chopped off very very nice you can see both of the 359 style mirrors and the 359 style air cleaners also, there is the turn signals. Now, I'm going to turn him up this way just a little bit because this guy has the ghost flames paint scheme. You can see the flames up on the hood and the flames up on the fenders. Very, very nice. They painted that strip right down the center of the hood. They painted it silver where the two hood halves seam together. Really cool. And then we'll just go on and look at it this way so you can see the rest of the top. Two air horns that are chromed. One, two, three, four, five roof lights that are molded into the roof of the cab, plus some rivet detail. They're painted yellow on the tips, which pretty much almost looks like the same yellow as the car as the truck cab. But then they've got the silver on the backs for the bullet style. You can also see how the uh, are the air intakes have rubber pipes coming out to each of them, and they're black instead of chrome. They're painted black. You got your steps, battery box, you got your um, air tank, and your fuel tank. Very nice on this side, too. Door handle is tampoed in black. There are no windows in the sides. Interior detail, it has two brown seats, brown dashboard, and a black steering wheel. Very, very nice. Coming around to the back, and you see it has 
Sunrise Express logos on both mud flaps. That has the weights on the bottom, the diamond weights, and then the chrome brackets. The brake lights are tampoed in red. There's also two red lights, or four red lights up on the cab. And you can also see it has a very nice pogo stick. There's a window in the back. And you can see clean through into the cab and right out the front window of that sleeper. The pogo stick with the air lines and the brake lines is chrome, and then the lines are the curl type. It's got a kingpin. It's got a fifth wheel that's set up for DCP kingpins. Go figure. And then they painted the little tips inside of the muffler to make it look, they painted them black so that it looks like they're hollow. They're not hollow, but they look that way. Pretty cool. Now we'll go underneath. It's got a yellow because Ron Kelsey has a cat motor, so it has a yellow motor on it. You see the tailpipe coming from the motor into the uh, dual exhaust. You see the underside of the fuel tanks. It says die cast promotions made in China. It's cast on this one. It's got the black frame. Drive shaft from the transmission to the first axle. Drive shaft to the second axle. And you can see it's got uh, air brake canisters on each one. Working suspension and positionable steering just like all of them pretty cool now the hood does open and 359's hoods are a little bit different because of the way that uh, air intake is than 379 so you can see a little difference in the hood the fenders are the orange the hoods the yellow and then you can see that beautiful cap motor under the hood and the piping is painted in black for the charge air system from the air intakes. Pretty nice. You see the turbocharger, the exhaust coming out, and it's got the radiator and radiator hoses. And then you can see inside, the in, it's actually got the grill piece, which is a, t um, a decal on these, on the inside. So they go all out when they make these. Now let's go on and hitch this guy up so you can see what it looks like. Take that load off and put the landing gear back up. It's easy to do. Just a couple of twists and it's up. On each side. Pretty simple. Kelsey's truck is one beautiful truck. It's amazing that he's kept it on the road this many years. It's great that he has because it's such a beautiful truck. Now put the load on. I'm not going to strap the load down, but you get the idea. Normally you would strap this load down. And, well, if you've ever hauled pipe, you'll know that you really can't strap it to the deck. But there we go. That is Ron Kelsey's Kelsey Trucking Sunrise Express Peterbilt 359 with Wilson 53-foot spread axle flatbed hauling plastic pipe it is a dcp by first gear number one in the big rig series and what a truck to start off with he's got 40 speeds forward in that truck really a 10 by 4 gives you 40 speeds <laughs> how'd you like to start at the bottom and hit every one of them <laughs> your clutch foot would be wore out <laughs> Ron's Sunrise Express truck is just beautiful, and we're proud to have this replica of it in 164 scale for our collections. It is in First Gear's new series of trucks called Big Rigs. The Big Rigs series is dedicated to showcasing real trucks and the driver behind the wheel. Each limited edition truck includes a certificate of authenticity and custom Big Rigs series packaging. Go on and shop for the Big Rigs series and other diecast promotions, 164 scale trucks on my website at farmtoysandmore.com. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment below on what you liked or what you didn't like about the video. And I just know that you've got some friends out there that would enjoy this video so go on and give it a share with the share button. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button to let YouTube know 
that you enjoyed this video and make sure you tap the subscribe button then join my YouTube family. I really appreciate each and every member of my YouTube family. I'm Logan, the 64th Gear Jammer Steel, and I'll be back in the warehouse soon for another episode of Toy Talk.